Good day, students. Um, I wanted to do a video on just the the simple design question, which is probably not that simple. Um, just to explain from the study guide what has happened and what you do and what you should do. Okay, so here we go through the simple design question from the study guide. So we read. As part of an aircraft's functional monitoring system, a circuit is required to indicate the status of the landing gears prior to landing. A green LED display turns on if all three gears are properly extended when the gear down switch has been activated in preparation for landing. A red LED display turns on if any of the gears fails to extend properly prior to landing. When a landing gear is extended, its sensor produces a low voltage. When a landing gear is retracted, its sensor produces a high voltage. And we have to implement a circuit to meet this requirement. So this is from the textbook example 18, page 133 in the of the 10th edition of Floyd. So yeah, just it's simply put. Um, usually we would have the steps. We would use these steps to solve this, and it goes in this order. Usually we make a truth table. We get the equations from the truth table. We do the corner map to simplify the equations, and then use the simplify equations to make the logic circuit which we then implement and that's the answer but first we have to try to put the information in such a way that you understand because usually with word problems there's a lot of information and not all of it really helps you so we try to put the information in such a way that we understand it in this example when the gears are extended we receive we receive a low from the sensor a low or zero from sensors otherwise when the gears are still retracted the sensor provider high. So just for clarity, extended means the gear is down, all the wheels are down and ready for landing, and retracted means the gear is still in upright position and we can't land. So we need all three of the wheels to be down for us to land. And if the wheels are down, the sensor gives out a low uh, reading. So when all the gears are extended, every sensor gives out a low and the green LED lights up. Even with just one not extended, the green LED is off. So logically, when all inputs are zero, the input must be one. And if even one of the inputs is a one, then the output is zero. And for the red LED, it goes on when one or more landing gear is still retracted. So logically, when at least one input is one, the output is one. So remember, when the gear is down, we get a low value of the sensor. So uh, we make a truth table and we start with, I guess we have three sensors, A, B, and C, and we fill out the truth table for them as we would, as we usually do, zero, one, go, zero, zero, four zeros, and then we go up. And then for the green LED, remember we said um, it is high, it, will, it is switched on, only when all the sensor values are zero. So we have a one there and then all zeros. And for the red LED, we have when all, um, when we have at least one of the sensors high or a one, the red LED goes on. So at least when at least one of the landing gear is not re is retracted, then red LED goes on and green LED goes off. So pretty much the only place where it's off is the first line where all are lows. And that's what we fill in here. So from here, we get our equation. So for the green LED, it's pretty easy because we have only one condition here. And that is when both are zero. So that's not a not B, not C. Should be a one. But for the red LED, it's a bit more difficult. So we have seven ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven equations. So for the first one, uh, it is not a not B and C. Uh, the second one, not A, B, and C. Third one, uh, not A, B, and C. The fourth one, oh wait, where am I now? Uh, yeah, the fourth one, we have A, not B, not C. Uh, fifth one, uh, A, B, not C. Oh, sorry, we skipped this one. A, not B, and C. And then the sixth one, A, B, and not C. And then the seventh one, A, B, and C. <clears throat> so 
So the green LED case is only one equation, so we don't have to simplify it. Um, but we do have to make a corner map for the red LED to simplify that's those equations for a simplified circuit. So <clears throat> here we have the uh, just uh, the truth table. I took out the green LED truth table so that uh, it's just easy for us to see. So here in the corner map, we must fill in all the ones. Uh, one, so A and B is zero, A and B is zero, and C is one, so we have put a one there. Uh, next one, A is zero, but B is one, and C is zero, so we put a one there. Uh, next condition, A is zero, B is one, and C is one, so A is zero, B is one, and C is one. A is one, and B and C are zeros, A is one, B is zero, and C is there, so we put a one there. Okay, so, and so we go on and we follow in all the ones we have here. The last one is everything is ones, and, oh, so that's one, everyone is one, A and B and C is ones. And so the corner map looks like this, that we have only one spot not filled in, which is there. Now, uh, we group it, so we have a nice group here of four, another group here of four, and another group here of four. And we can't do really much more there's the three groups the best we can do um we can't group six uh, we can group that ways but then we're left with two here or four there so really this is the best we can do and if we look at the let's look at this side so a and b going down the ways definitely goes from a complemented to uncomplemented stage or a uncomplemented to a complemented stage so that definitely falls away and we're just left with C, which doesn't, which stays in uh, the same shape, or it stays one. So we have just C. <coughs> Here we have um, A and B. A goes from uh, un uh, complemented to uncomplemented, so it falls away. B is one to one, so it stays. And C goes from a complemented to an uncomplemented phase, so B stays. And then here, A goes from uh, uncomplemented to uncomplemented, so it stays. B goes from uncomplemented to a complemented stage, and C also falls away because it goes from zero to one. I un uh, complemented to uncomplemented, so we are left with A, B, and C. So A or B or C, which makes so a couple of points on the logic circuit. Sorry, before we get to something else, there are a lot of different ways of solving this problem with logic circuits. He will show you three different ways and equally correct ways of doing this. The key to this is, read the question carefully and see if you are restricted in your use of gates. Sometimes the question requires you only to use NAND gates, for example, or NOR gates, or whatever the case may be. But read the question and see what type of gates we want to use. So, okay, so here, um, I just wanted to show you this program multisim and a couple of simulations I did by building the circuit just to show you that there are multiple options to building a circuit. So let's run the simulation. So first off, uh, this is the solution we have in the textbook. I'll just take you through what I've done. The VCC here is the power, the positive part of the power and we have the ground here. And these switches represent the sensors. So if they are open, like that, it means a low. And if they're closed, electricity runs through, and that means a high. So pretty simple in that case. <clears throat> so here we have a uh, NOR gate, uh, three NOT gates, and the AND gate. And here we have the LEDs, and the LEDs, and this is just a current res um, limiting resistor, so the LEDs don't get damaged. Doesn't really matter in the simulation, but it's just good practice to just to do it anyways. So here's ground, 
and power. So if all the switches are open, meaning everything is low, that means um, your green LED is lit up. And that means that all the landing gear are uh, extended so the airplane can land. So if a green LED, if even one of the uh, landing gear is retracted, green LED goes off, red LED goes on, and the airplane can't land. Same thing for any number of landing gear um, still retracted, red LED remains on. And if all of them are off, you have a uh, low, then green LED goes on, plane can land. Once again, this is the solution in the book using the uh, 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 NOR gates, sorry, and the NOT gates and the uh, AND gate. But as you spoke, there are other solutions. Uh, here yeah, I have a different solution. I just have to stop the simulation. A different solution. Here, you, once again, we have power and we have ground. Um, switches, sensors, that doesn't change. Here we have a OR gate, a three input OR gate. And the same thing, the NOT gate and the AND gate. So the same thing happens if all the switches are low or open. That means electricity runs <coughs> and the LED green LED is lit up. So once again, if all the landing gear are extended, all the sensors are showing a low, that means we can land, green LED is on. But if one of them is retracted, we get a high, that means the red LED goes on and the green LED goes off, meaning we can't land and it's the exact same any number of it just one of them stays a high meaning green LED goes on and we can't land okay and then oop, all landing gear uh, extended so we can land um, and the third solution now there are more but there's just three I wanted to show you uh, I've got to stop this okay we stopped it and this is the last solution I want to show you. So here I've just used NOR gates to um, actuate, to light up the LEDs. And it's the exact same thing. I mean, you have the uh, VCC here, VCC there, which is the power and ground, the sensors. <clears throat> nothing has changed to them. The sensors stay the same. And um, all the sensors are open or giving up lows, meaning that the green LED is lit up and we can land. So if one of the sensors are closed, gives out a high, red LED goes on, green LED goes off, and we can't land. So exactly all the others. And this one I've done, like I said, just using NOR gates. Um, now, once again, you can do it as long as your logic is sound and you followed uh, the design principles and it's a pretty simple circuit then you've completed the task. Uh, why are there why are there so many different designs? Well, there is a, there's a lot of uh, reasons for that. Uh, there's a lot of ways you can solve this problem, but whichever problem you think is best, use that one. Uh, but just try and use as little amount of gates you can. And nothing is usually in questions. We would give you... Um, we would restrict you to using a certain amount of gates. So if we told you in this option, just use NOR gates, then you will have to use just NOR gates. Or if we told you just use NAND gates or just use OR gates. Um, <clears throat> usually uh, in questions, just using NAND gates is a very popular option because you can do a lot with NAND gates. So that is three options of solving this dilemma. So once again, a dunk question. These are the three circuits that I made, and they are all equal because they all give the same outputs. We just use different logic for it. And I reiterate the point, read the question, and see uh, what you um, what gates you are allowed to use. So read the question, make sure what gates you use. Um, so the last thing this comes from the textbook and this is the um, the plane from the textbook and the three landing gear sensors and this is the way they solved it now 
the way they solved it particularly in this way because in that specific section they will they were dealing with nor gates and why a nor gate is exactly the same as a negative and gate so this we can replace with a nor gate because it's the exact same thing so that's why in the textbook they solved it like this they wanted to have an example where they solve uh, a problem and they use a nor gate and a negative and gate and they can show that it's interchangeable so with this we can use a negative and gate two negative and gates or two nor gates okay i hope this helped and uh hope that you found this useful and yeah enjoy